Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be changing the oil of my Volkswagen and I wanted to make a video of how to do it for anyone who else who also has an FSI engine. Um, these have the paper filters that go inside the plastic filter element and those need like a special tool. So I'm gonna show you how to do those. The, right, the other engine that the Volkswagen Passat had in the later models had the TSI engines. Those have a normal spin on filter and you can remove them using traditional methods. But this one has the paper one, so I'm gonna show you how to take it off. Talk about what you need for this job. So, of course, you get the oil for your car. 5W40 Castro is what I like to run, the European one. I get the OEM filter from the dealer. I got this for like 10 bucks. Or you get them on Amazon, whatever. Or you can use aftermarket ones, whatever you wanna use. Um, I have a torque wrench right here for so you can torque it down to the proper torque spec. I have a new drain plug here. You should replace these. These are very easy to strip. So you want to make sure you're using new ones or I mean you could leave it in if That's what you want to do Here's the special tool I was talking about a 36 millimeter wrench that you're going to use to take off the oil filter drain plug I mean the oil filter Yep, this is the tool I'm going to use also a 19 millimeter wrench to take the drain plug off because um, I, ha I have a story that I'm going to tell you guys about um, when I f when I start the job Here's a 19 millimeter um, that I'm gonna use a 6.1 that I'm gonna use for the breaker bar because a lot of times these get very um, stubborn. The drain plugs are very stubborn. Um, and yeah, you can either use a 6.0 or a 12.0. I've used both and they work fine for this. Um, and then you're also gonna need a way to jack the car up um, like this, um, a jack, jack stands, some shop rags to collect so you don't make a mess. And then you have the, the pan to collect the used oil. First, you want to park the car with the e-brake on, and then you want to choke the wheels like this. So I have two wheel chokes on the back. See? Two wheel chokes. So you don't make sure that the car doesn't roll back when you're lifting it. All right, next up, we're going to um, jack the car up using the jack points that are under the car. It's this. So if you look under, you have this reinforced metal right here, and this is what you're going to jack the car up on using the jack. This part. See? Right here. This reinforced metal. You're going to use that. That's the jack point, and we start lifting the car. Next, once you've jumped the car up using the jack stand point, you're gonna put a jack stand under a solid piece of metal to give you additional support. You never wanna just be under the car with the jack stand. I've seen them fail and crush people, so don't do that. So. I always use the front control arm for this, and yeah. We're also gonna do the same for the other side because we gotta lift both sides up. So start jacking. You've jacked up the car and you have it on jack stands like this. I usually use the control arms, the front control arms. We're ready to move on to the next step. We're gonna take the belly pan off and then you have access to the oil pan and the filter. Okay, so there's six bolts that are holding on the oil pan, the oil, um, the belly pan for the car. Um, like right here, right here, and right here. So you need to, you need to remove six screws. And what you need for that is you're gonna need a T25 Torx bit. And you could use a ratchet here or a screwdriver like me, but yeah, you're gonna do that. All right, so we're gonna start unscrewing it. Once you remove the six bolts that are holding the under pelly, you basically just um, pull it back and the thing just slides out and then you're able to just pull it out of the car like this. The main plug is right here and that's a 19 millimeter bit and we're going to take it off. First we're going to use the breaker bar and then we're going to use the wrench. We've got the breaker bar on the on the drain plug and now we just pull. Um, remember lefty, loosey, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, so we're going to... Once you loosen it enough, you should be able to remove it by hand, like this. And you should be ready to come out. This one's really tight, actually, so I'm gonna have to keep unloosening. Keep on tightening it, and then the oil comes out, like this. And have your belly pan ready for that. Bring your oil drain. We're gonna have to take this filter off, which is this one I saw about. Here's the paper filter. So here's the plastic cover. We're gonna take this off, which is you just unscrew with hand. If it's really tight, you can take some pliers and then turn it a little and then it should come off. Mine wasn't very tight, so I could just remove it by hand. And yeah, the thing comes off like so. We'll just move it out of the way. And here's this. So the idea behind these is that you could press this button um, with a screwdriver and then it's gonna come out and then you could take it off. I don't recommend doing that. 
because as this plastic ages, this gets really brittle, and then you press it, and then you get an oil leak from this. And then you have to buy this plastic thing, and this plastic thing isn't cheap. It's like 115 bucks from the dealer. So, yeah, I just recommend just taking your um, tool to it, turning it, and then removing it, and then have your belly pan ready to collect all that stuff so that, so that you don't break this. In my case, the oil filter is very tight, so I'm going to have to use the breaker bar again. Now, this is a 3 8 inch, and I have a half inch breaker bar, so I used an adapter. A half inch to a 3 8 inch adapter, so I could use it with this. So yeah, be sure you have adapters if you don't have any extra tools. When your oil is done draining, like mine is, you get um, the, your new drain plug, and you're going to put it in. Um, these are torqued to 30 newton meters of torque. So yeah, first we want to like finger tighten it, um, which is going to be hard. you tightened up your drain plug um we're gonna like take the oil filter off i already loosened it using my breaker bar and now it should just be able to come out by hand like this make sure your belly pants so you don't make a mess like i did you gotta make sure it's right under there so try your best you're still gonna make a mess don't worry about it <laughs> like that oh this is hot stuff yep and a filter came out and i'm gonna show you guys how to replace this filter now so that's what i was talking about plastic fill this is the paper filter that goes in the plastic and i'm gonna show you how to take care of this we're gonna replace the paper filter and we're gonna replace this gasket inside so you gotta have your new oil ready and we're gonna have your the filter ready we're gonna open it and his new filter here's the new gasket that we're gonna put in and we're gonna show you how to put it in. all right so we're gonna take this paper it should just pop out like this and it's like this Okay, once you take the paper out, you have this gasket in here that you can take off. Um, it's a stinker, so you're probably gonna need some pliers like this, so you can get to this tab, grab it, and then it comes out. Like that. Now we're gonna grab the new gasket, which is in here. Hopefully my greasy hand won't stop me. Of course they will. So you cut. Grease it in engine oil like this so that it doesn't stick on so that's easy to take off next time. Now we're going to put it in the filter like this. It's in the bottom right here where you're going to put it in. So we're going to just kind of get it in there. And that should be good to go. Yeah, it's in the last one. Do not put it in the wrong spot, otherwise you'll get a leak. Now we're gonna put the paper in here, the new one, and it should click in, watch. Like that, it gives it a very nice side sign click. Now we're gonna pre-fill the filter using the new engine oil. Or sideways so you don't spill it you want to let a little air come in we're filling up just a little bit now you tighten out both your oil filter and your um oil drain plug it's time to add the engine oil to the end let's untighten the drain the oil fill the oil fill port we're gonna take off the engine oil we're gonna untighten and we're gonna add the engine oil now to the engine um on the, dog, on the data sheet, it says 4.4 quarts. So start adding oil. I'm not gonna film this part. 4.4 quarts. Tighten this up, and then we're ready to start the engine. And you're gonna look for leaks under the car. Now we start the car. Notice that I didn't get a low oil pressure light. You should never get an oil low oil pressure light when you're doing this. If you do, you probably did something wrong. Um, yeah. Now we're looking under the car to make sure there's no leaks. And so far, it's bone dry. I don't see any leaks coming from the filter. I don't see any leaks coming from the drain plug. So, we're done. You just have to reattach the 
the belly pin and you're done with the job. And also check your oil and add some if necessary. Um, don't trust the data sheets. And yeah, you're done with the job.